can be more and less effective. It also depends on the context in which you're spinning. If you're spinning in the round, it's a fantastic technique regardless, because if you spin in the round and you always have your orientation. So uh, let's back up a second. Imagine when you think about this and you think about your planes, right? These are my side planes, my east west, and these are my um, uh, these are my wall planes relative to me. And then I have my top plane and my bottom plane. I imagine myself in a box. What happens is when you turn your 180, you maintain the same box. When you turn your trichetra turn, your box now is oriented this way instead of being oriented this way. If you are always having a box that's oriented east-west and you're spinning in the round, the people on the sides are always screwed. They never get a good view of your flowers, right? So the advantage of this, that's one of the reasons I did, uh, one of the reasons I have this technique is because I, when I first started spinning, I would go to parties, undergrounds, raves, whatever, Burning Man, and it was always spinning in the round. And I wanted to face all of my audience, so I would reorient my box to various places. And what that ends up doing is it gives more of the audience a better view, which means I just think it's a better performance technique. However, when you're practicing, it doesn't really matter that much. So if you don't perform, this would never necessarily, this wouldn't necessarily come up. Or like when I was doing the expo, you're on a stage. Most of your audience is, like 90% of your audience is there. When you're on a stage, it doesn't really matter. You have to have context in which you're spinning in the round or even a semi-round, a U, where it really matters. And unless you do, this is probably not something that would come up.